Hello YouTube, this is part of Arkansas Thrifters and I'm here with another video. I, uh, this video just hit me in the face uh, when I was messing around my room because I found the stuff I use this with. But if you're a reseller who deals in video games, mainly CD video games, DVDs, CDs, and other disc media that's the circular discs, you know for a fact that uh, even if they don't have the original case or the original artwork or the original packaging, if you just got the disc itself, there's money in that as well. But I bet a lot of you are like, how do I mail these off securely? But how do I do it to make my buyer happy? I've seen a lot of you guys, not a lot, but the ones I get in the mail are usually put into one of these. Slid in here put in a bubble mailer with a piece of cardboard in it. That's all well and dandy. But I am a little luckier than those people, I guess, because I got some good deals um, for some DVD cases. And by DVD, I mean these. I picked up nearly 300 of these for $20. That's less than 10 cents a piece. And uh, that's normally, you know, a 100 pack of these are like, what, 5 bucks? So... It's about the same, not the same price, but this is a little bit more than those. Still good quality. And uh, these were from an old rental store uh, locally. No, not locally. I think these came from Oklahoma. And I uh, bought them from a guy in town. But these are very durable, just see-through DVD cases. And uh, I like these. And the way I mail single discs is all I do is take one of these, pop it open, put the CD in... I don't really have a CD handy to show you, but you guys know where to put a CD. And then close it, put that into a bubble mailer, and you're done. But I know what you're thinking. John, not John. Uh, screw it. My name is John. If you're on my Twitter, you know my name. And um, you're like, what about those multi-disc sets? You know, the two, three, or four disc sets. Granted you, I have not mailed a four disc set this way. But I have done a one set, or a two and three disc sets this way. If you look at this case, there's two prongs. So what I do is I put disc one here in the center. Then I take one or two of these, depending on how many discs is in the set. And I slide two and three. Say we've got three disc set. I'll slide one up here. Then the second one, I'll slide in the bottom, like so. Make sure you get under the latch. And then normally, you can fit a third disc in here, but it's a little more challenging. So yeah, this is an easy way to do a three disc set without the original packaging. If you do a four disc set, it's a little challenging to do with one case. But yeah. But that's just the start of it. That'd be disc one, two, and three. Then I'll put the disc in, and then I'll take a little bit of bubble wrap, cut a square, and I will usually and I'll usually try to get it uh, to cover the circle part a little bit bigger to cover the circle part so that it has the main disc and the two discs over here. Then when you close it, it'll be a little hard to close depending on how thick your bubble wrap is. But once closed. This thing is well padded inside. It won't move around because you put the padding inside to hold it in place and to add a little bit more protection against banging around the walls. Then I slide this into a bubble mailer, put in my invoice, pack, uh, seal the envelope, tape the envelope. I, uh, I got the self-stick ones, so I seal it, and then I tape it as well. I'm a little paranoid. I can't help it because I want these to get to my buyer Specifically, and if I have to waste a little bit of tape just to tape an envelope shut, I will. And then you slide this into an envelope, like I say, with your invoice. Then you tape the envelope, seal it, then tape it. And that's it. Most discs, up to three to four discs, are still first class mail. So just stick these in a bubble mailer. Now, if you go more than, say, like you got a buyer who bought five three disc sets and you need to do this method for multiple cases. This is a great way. 
Now, to do five of these, all you got to do is just do the same method I told you and just put them in a box. Um, if it's over 13 ounces, and most of these you can't mail me, if you got CDs and I think DVDs, those can go media mail. I'm not sure on the DVDs, but I do know on the CDs. But if you got video games, those are not allowed into media mail that I know of. So, I would say to be on the cheap side, depending on where your buyer is, if they're really close to you, do a region A box on something similar to this. This alone, this region A box, can't hold them like that, but it will hold them like long ways. And you can easily stack five on top, put a little bit of padding, tape it down, print off your label, and you just got a five disc cell packaged easily. But that's another video for multi-item shipping but this is just a simple quick way and for me it's cheap because this whole setup because I bought about the hundred pack at a yard sale for a buck that about 300 of these probably a little bit more than 300 but I'm gonna say 300 for th uh, $20 uh, let me do a little bit of math right quick so $20 Okay, so each one of these cost me approximately seven cents. It's nine cents if you count the two labels or the two uh, sleeves I got to put in this. And for this setup, minus the bubble mailer cost, I don't know what you guys pay for yours. Um, this is a nine cent investment to secure a three disc set, or actually a one, two, and three disc set. If you're just doing a one disc, seven cents. Two disc, eight cents. Three disc, nine cent investment. And you guys know that's dirt cheap because usually if you got a three disc set of game, that's usually a 20 to 30 plus game, depending on the game. Driver and stuff like that on the PS1 aren't worth much, but if you got like Final Fantasy, uh, Dragoon, uh, some of the PS2 three disc sets, I've sold a few that were really good. And some Japanese three disc sets, I've had a few of those that sold really well. And this way, this will protect your investment, and it's not expensive. This usually costs less than your bubble mailers, depending on how much you have to spend on your bubble mailers. So yeah, if you ever want to know how to mail off a CD, DVD, or media disc, and that's a secure method, that will also make your buyer really happy. Because usually if I get the lead, just a little paper with a little bit of cardboard, and I'm a little disappointed. I'm happy that it got to me in one piece, but I'm usually disappointed because to me that just screams I didn't take enough time to do anything. But if your buyer gets a really good condition, DVD quality case, padded inside with their other discs securely uh, protected as well inside the same packaging, I can see buyers being super happy about that. I've even got some good reviews from doing this for uh, buyers. So yeah, this will be a nice cheap investment for you guys to learn how to package multi-disc lot or multi-disc items that are disc only. So please, as Arkansas Thrifter, please have a great day, and I'm out of here.